Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benu with Israeli News Live, and uh, Pope Benedict uh, has died at the age of 95. So there's no longer two popes in power in the Vatican any longer. Uh, I was reading where one uh, particular guy, one bishop, whatever, they said that his last words were, Jesus, I love you. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I would probably be thinking a little differently, but hey, you know, um, let's let's hope the best for the guy. So, um, but anyway, uh, that would be a nice thing if that's the case. Uh, this is something too that popped up. I wanted to share with you here on Twitter. I actually, have a lot of Twitter things I want to share with you guys today. This is from 1945, March 15. It was a um, uh, an image there of. After, I guess, because of the Holocaust, they're showing the the uh, Nazi helmet on top of the coffin, coming out of the coffin, a serpent. Now, the odd thing is they show on the back of the serpent the very insignia that is being used by Ukraine. And if you look closely, though, too, and I'll see if I can blow this up to show it to you guys, it's even on the kippa that the serpent is wearing. So I'm assuming that they're trying to show you that this is a Jewish uh, uh, serpent trying to get revenge. There you go, right there. Can you see that there? Same sign as not only on the back, but on the kippa that the serpent is wearing. And then I can't help but think to myself, as Jesus said, you serpents, you generational vipers, how can you escape the damnation of hell? You know, now granted, I am definitely not for the Holocaust or the evils that were done in you uh, in any of Europe. I had, you know, extended family members that lost their lives during that time. But uh, I also hear too that the Ukrainians were more vicious against the uh, uh, the Jews in Ukraine than anybody else during that war there. So ah, just gosh, it's crazy stuff. Uh, listen, by the way, PMC Wagner is wishing uh, a happy new year to Ukrainians and their uh, little goofy way of doing it here or there. But at the same time, Hal Turner has just reported that uh, Ukraine sent over uh, grad missiles there to a Russian base and allegedly right now anywhere from three to 600 are, are believed to be killed of Russian soldiers. Uh, they hit a school where they were being housed at. Uh, also, a hospital uh, where they were being the wounded were being treated at, and the Ukrainians bombed both of those. And uh, you know, it's pretty low down to bomb the hospital there, but what can you expect there? Also, yesterday in uh, uh, Sivarov nuclear submarine, the third submarine of the Bore A project was launched by Russia. The boat is 170 meters long and as tall as a five story building. What a massive submarine. Uh, you know, as a, as a friend of mine in Washington put it to me, he said Russian subs are as big as shopping malls. Uh, he said, have you ever been inside of one? That's exactly the way they are. Uh, and that is monstrosity of a submarine. I think he's actually talking more about American subs, but Russia, I think, has the biggest submarines in the world. Uh Anyway, can't confirm that for sure. This also I wanted to share with you. This is very concerning. Alan's mother, Ukraine, has been killing us for eight years. We we don't want to live in such a country anymore there. Listen into this a little bit as she talks about it. She is a Ukrainian. She says, we're just trying to live with this pain. Wake up with it in the morning and go to bed at night. Her daughter, by the way, the picture on the back wall was killed. We're just trying to live with this pain. Okay, and very difficult to look at the children who go to school, even though it's distant uh, form of studying at the moment. Okay, she continues on. And you understand that your child won't go. It's very painful. We try to hold on. The family support us, but anyway, it's very difficult. I don't know when the moments comes that it'll be easier. Yeah. Yes, I voted for Russia. I hope it's well. It will help us. That's mm -hmm. when we join Russia. Our lives will turn for the better. 
Yes. Okay. Sorry. It's still the same thing. That's her little girl that was killed. Ukraine has been killing us for eight years. We don't want to live in such a country. You know, and that's the reason I wanted to play this for you is her statement right there. Russia has been, I mean, excuse me, Ukraine has been killing us for eight years. It's, it's unbelievable. I know there's people on both sides that are dying, and I feel just as just as bad for the Ukrainians and their children that are dying in this conflict as I do the uh, Russian side, the Donetsk, Luhansk region that is, wants their autonomy uh, free from Russia. But you have to understand, it, it's true. The Ukrainians have, we have showed you just numerous, numerous videos of uh, the uh, Ukrainians killing their own. Uh, it's very sad that these things are happening there inside of Ukraine. Also, too, this, this video here, black ice is what this is on the highway. This is uh, uh, Kai and I posted it. This was a chaotic as, you know what, for no reason. Uh, let me back it up for you again, though. Look at this poor guy here. He's trying to get out of the way. He can't even get standing up on the ice. Luckily, he's not killed. I mean, unbelievable what this poor man, you know, the fear he must have felt and cars crashing all around. You know, I actually had a couple of videos uh, the other day and I didn't get to post them there. Uh, the snowstorms and the pileups and the crashes, just like what you're seeing here, just one after another, after another, after another. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh, gosh. Looks like they make it in without crashing. Um, and then that guy hits him anyway. So uh, that was something I just happened to be catching. I was looking here at the very end here to see what all they actually have out here. All right, guys. So I just want to share some of those things with you there. I've got some things I want to share too still yet. been studying over here in the Dead Sea Scrolls. So I'm hoping to bring, still bring up another video tonight. Uh, I think Yana is also going to be sharing a video. Uh, she's actually creating a couple of new channels of her own. And she's going to be starting doing book reviews. Uh, because she does so many books. She's trying to get back uh, back in the saddle, trying to get back uh, started again. It's been a, a little over a year that she's been away from the ministry. Uh, so I will let you guys hear that from her in her own words. I'm Stephen Benoon, your 